and welcome to the 2015-2016 Fantasy Football Fantasy Draft. Uh, first off, I'd like to thank the Cahill family, specifically Mr. Chip, for letting us use this wonderful Art and Cahill Theater. Also for providing Jambalaya and Brother's Chicken for coming through in the clutch. Cheer. I'd also like to thank Lakeside Toyota, the Motwani Group, for being our official sponsors today. Without them, this would not be possible. Now, I just want to take a moment to uh, just acknowledge this moment. Uh, <laughs> this is the 2015-2016 Fantasy Draft. We're all together here at one time, besides Nick and Gore. <laughs> and uh, this is a really special moment, you know? It's kind of silly, but it's in the, in the broad picture. It's been seven years. It's, yeah, it's been seven years. It's, been re it's really nice, man. Keeping you all, all you guys together. Bonds coming from Monroe. The accountant coming from Baton Rouge. You know? So this is a nice moment. I came from Barrera. I'd like us all to rise for a moment, if we could stand up. It's really important. No, I don't pray. Please, please. Stand up, please. I don't pray. We're not praying. We're not praying. Stand up. I'd like to take a moment of silence. John, get up here. <laughs> <laughs> the West Bank Archbishop Shaw League Over here, John. Yeah. would like to recognize our service members abroad and in the reserve. <laughs> Moment of silence, please. Now, John, if you'd like to stay up here for our national anthem okay. performed by Lou Cahill. First, we're going to have the invocation. Yeah, oh, yes, invocation. My father. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Nomen de Padre, Dios, Espíritu Santo. Dear God, we would like you to share with you our blessings and our thankfulness. Ask for your forgiveness for our sins. And if we do share hate with each other over this fantasy, hopefully it is all a big group of love. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. St. John Bosco, pray for us. Mary, help of Christians, pray for us. Our Lady of Victory, pray for us. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Please take your hats off. Everyone, please stay standing for the playing of the national anthem. Thank you, Luke and Adam and John, for your service. Yeah, yeah. At this time, I feel it is necessary for us to acknowledge as a league that we are completely distancing ourselves from a one Rohit Bolchandani. <laughs> Rohit is a, not a great example of sportsmanship, sports knowledge, and he bought a Toyota not from Cameron. I'd like to once again mention our sponsor, Lakeside Toyota. <laughs> Lakeside Toyota. Thank you. And also at this time, I'd like to mention the new namesake and memorial person of our league. If Mike can show the background of my computer, there's a great picture of... Uh, oh, Mike, just minimize it, Mike. A good friend of all of ours. Just minimize that thing. Uh, Mr. Mike Alombro, who passed away, <laughs> passed away from cancer years ago, but was a uh, true great member of the West Bank. Cameron can attest to this, so can Luke. He drank more beer than me. <laughs> he did. And, uh, we actually have a new trophy this year that Cameron will now present. Will he? Yes. Okay. And this trophy will be named the Mike Alombro Memorial West Bank Pride Trophy. Because Cameron was the champion one year ago and will be now handing off the trophy to our reigning champion and reserve serviceman, John J. Mac Daddy Anderson, the current champion of the league. <laughs> I'd like to, uh, John, once again, champion John. 
May his reign be short and terrible. I'd like to open up the floor now if you wouldn't like to say anything. Yeah, of course. Yeah, you can hold that for me. Uh, it's been a long and, and treacherous road for many of us. Lots of times I doubted myself during last fantasy season. Now, could, could I make it? Could I, could I go the distance? <laughs> Luckily, I was a waiver wire vulture, and I won many games due to my prowess on the free agency. <laughs> my players came through, what can I say? My players played like I would if I was them. They were champions, much like I am. <laughs> The belt speaks for itself. <laughs> Losers aren't welcome in this league. And that goes for a lot of you out there. For a, I'm a winner. That's why I feel like it is my destiny once again to win this belt and retain it. So to all of you, not a lot of you, but good luck, go fuck yourself. And, have a good night. Right. Congratulations once again to John, reigning champion. John sucks. Um, as far as rule changes go, there aren't really many. Uh, still one quarterback, two running back, two wide receivers, tight end, flex, defense, kicker, standard league, non PPR. Um, we do have some new awards this year that Tarun has uh, come up with. That. I'm going to announce now. So keep in mind ways you can win this award. The best waiver wire pickup, that will be given out this year. That probably last year would have gone to John for Fred Jackson. Alfonso dropped him <laughs> for no reason. The worst fucking trade ever, you stupid fucking idiot. That would have been a tight race last year. Uh, uh, I don't know. I beg to differ. That would have been a tight one. Most points left on bench. That could be given out at some point. The Woe Dude Calm Down It's Only Fantasy Football Award. That goes to everyone in this Last year I tried to fight Matt Ledette, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> the Use a Bitch Anti Sportsmanship Award. That would probably go to you vetoing motherfuckers out there. <laughs> the alcoholic guy who never wakes up early enough to set his lineup. <laughs> Congratulations, Cam. <laughs> And the runner, <laughs> the owner who probably won't be in the league next year because he's weird. That Take is, him off. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so keep in mind, those awards will be given out at the end of the year, so do your best to try to win as many as you can. Matt will dead. Um, pretty much the way the draft's going to work, when it's your time, you'll come up to the podium this way or that way, announce your pick, Mike will put it into the board, and that's really about it. It's not very complicated, but that's it. Anybody have any questions before we begin? All right, I'd like to officially start the 2015 draft. Uh, Nick Gongora, you are on the clock. No, no, we got, I got a minute 30, right? <laughs> Dude, you, you yeah, you're right. Minutes, really. You're right. This is fucking real. That's not my song. Hold on, sorry, sorry, sorry. Get it right. Tell me when you want the chime, John. You can make the chime. Trying that one and skip my song, bro. Ten seconds. Just Hold play it. Just play it. Play it so you can make two back to back. Ten seconds. Ten seconds. Eight seconds. Seven. Six. Come on, John. Five. John, pick four. My overall Three, pick two, for the first round is one. Mark Ingram. Mark Ingram. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Give me the whole fucking one minute. minute. Hey, Freddie, what's that word? Reach. Reach. All right. Mark Ingram. Mark Ingram. Mark Ingram. Mike went to sleep. Mark Ingram, Mike. I'm doing anything. <laughs> You're not doing that many things. You're not doing enough things. <laughs> Alright, John. Next 
pick since I have back to back picks. Right? <laughs> oh, God. Shout out Drake. Shout out Drake. My second <laughs> pick. You're is... like Meek Mill, bitch. Shut up! Make a pick. What's that up there? Make a pick! Second overall pick of the second round is. Nope, that's not true. None of the whatever, ones. bro. You know what the fuck I'm talking about. I picked Andrew fucking Luck. Your first one sucks. Okay. They both suck. All right, blue pants.